How's it going everyone? Yucha Boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be discussing a topic I never ever thought I would be covering here on the channel, and the topic's name is Lana Rhodes. Now the reason for this coverage here is because recently, not only was she exposed for an NFT scam, but she actually decided to take the said scam and compare it to the situation that is taking place in Ukraine. Yeah. Try to wrap your heads around that one, my friends. That is completely a brain-dead comparison. So for more context, we ourselves an article here from Tweet Town that is titled, Famous Porn Star Compares Her NFT Scam to Russia Invading Ukraine. A famous porn star that scammed her community out of $1.5 million dollars has compared her failed NFT project to Russia invading Ukraine. The NFT space is plagued with projects that end up scamming investors and recently a famous porn star was added to the list of projects that have ripped off investors. A YouTube investigator that goes by the name CoffeeZilla exposed the porn star turned influencer Lana Rhodes that created the NFT project called CryptoSys which features collections of cartoon images of Rhodes the actress told her audience that purchasing these NFTs would be an investment and that she will be working hard to increase the value of CryptoSys and make it a lucrative investment for holders that they can sell for more than they paid to mint. It should be noted that if Rhodes said that her NFT project was purely artwork and not going to make any buyers profit on their purchase, then it wouldn't be a scam. But since Rhodes has failed to provide on the promises she has made to her community slash the public roadmap for the project, as well as withdrawn $1.5 million in Ethereum, hope I'm saying that right, from the project's wallet, it only seems reasonable to assume that Rhodes has taken investors' funds and disappear. And going a little bit deeper into this, we were still CoffeeZilla tweeting out a thread starting off with the following. Lana Rhodes, blocked me, is having a meltdown over my coverage of her NFT. She calls me a disease of the internet, but she won't just return the money she took from the project. And attached to this tweet is an image showcasing a couple of Lana Rhodes tweets and, well, you can see the amount of bullshit that is coming out of her trap. I mean, it is absolutely unbelievable. Carrying on here, Lana says people worried about her NFT scam are stupid because of Ukraine? Not sure what bad thing has to do with another, and attached to that tweet is another image of Lana Rhodes trying to justify her BS. This is just honestly killing my brain cells trying to see what she is saying. Lana argues her team and herself deserve to keep the money because they worked on the project. I guess working on a project till mint and then running away because negativity means you deserve $1.5 million laughing my ass off and again... Another image of Lana Rhodes and her brain cell murdering takes. Lana just deactivated her Twitter when everyone just wants her to return the money she made. Unbelievable. And as we see right here, yep, she pretty much pieced the hell out there. Okay, so this article pretty much gives us a good enough idea here as to what the situation is going on. I'm not going to go through the rest because it's pretty much just repeating what CoffeeZilla had tweeted out. And honestly, this right here is probably one of the most brain-dead things I have ever seen. Now, first off, I don't really know how NFTs work. I don't really know what they are. So if anyone in the comments could enlighten me with some details, that would be great. But when we take scamming into account here, that is something you just don't do. You do not even think of trying to scam people and think that it is completely justifiable and okay to do because it is not and furthermore trying to use your one month old child as an attempted excuse for this shit you should be fucking ashamed of yourself as a parent like this is something you never ever do you never use your kids as an excuse to do bad things what the actual hell is wrong with you? And to top off this entire disaster piece here, she ends up making what is quite possibly the most tone-deaf, brain-dead comparison here when she's trying to somehow justify her NFT scam by comparing it to the situation 
taking place in Ukraine. I don't even know how that is even possible. I don't know how anyone could come up with a comparison like that and put logic behind it. There is absolutely no logic behind it. That right there just comes off as completely disingenuous and pretty much like a cornered animal that doesn't have anywhere else to go. I guess because she got caught like a rat in the trap, she ends up trying to make brain dead takes, causing brain rot so people will try to forget about what she originally did. Well, here's the thing. This here may have caused some brain rot and some brain cell killing, but it definitely does not make us forget what you did, Lana. And even more so, we are more disgusted with you now because of how you tried to defend yourself in this situation by making these completely disgusting and abhorrent takes. I guess while you were a porn star, you took one too many sausages to the head, and now you got nothing left between your ears. Wow. Covering this topic really hurt my brain. I really, really hope that I can somehow regenerate the brain cells that I lost thanks to this thought right here. And I guess with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I apologize that I had to expose your eyes and ears to this, because I'm sure you guys probably need to take some ibuprofen to cure the headache that you probably got from seeing what we had to cover here. I know I'm probably gonna need to take two. With that being said, thanks again for watching. Have yourself a damn good one, guys. And thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.